It's January 1st, yeah. 2023. I'm going to make the old Campbell chewing gum today because everything's so wet with so much rain. It's just, everything's soaked, man. It's killing me. I'm guessing you do this one first so you can get it how you want it yeah, and then you yeah, fill in that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got that one set. So that piece is set. I know my gap. Yeah. I'll get that joint on there, then I'll put my I'll make up space in there. I'll yeah. my move the old lump troll. It's a good troll though. That is a good troll boy. Ooh. Like cream boy, cream. Look, look, look. Cream. <laughs> that? Oh, a bit of leaf look. In 10 million years time I go, oh there was a dinosaur there and they break that all up. Oh we found a leaf that comes to come out of a dinosaur. Oh yeah, old bricklayer dinosaur. Oh. <laughs> So this camp I make here is quite stiff. That ain't like normal brick laying camp. What it is, I just not let it mix so much. And put just a little more cement in it so that that go off a bit quicker. Because these you get to try to count like the wetness of the block. What happens after a while, the water in the camp makes the make it move so you get like a jelly effect. So you just try to make it go off to give yourself a chance to stop the rolling as always. Once it go off, you're there. Get under that line, look. Get that like that. Push up and come back down to your line. Get the, uh, got a special troll. Yep, get the special troll. The special brick troll. It's a good quality item. Good quality item, that boss. In fact, you should invest in one then. Every young apprentice should have them. In fact, you might go use it again. I'm going to go up, push up the wall toy. I'm going to above the camp wheel, push it to that block, and gently drop it on. Get the brick troll. There we go. Big old brick troll. Cool. Lovely. Like it. If you look here, what we've done, I'll return the, the cavity and close it off. You don't really do it anymore in a new place, but this is because this is the garage, it doesn't matter. But I'll just show you, so you cut this little sliver, get some muck. I cut that little 40 mil sliver. And this is how we used to do it all the while, but they used to be on a split brick. But of course we want to point this up. And then we just slide it down, like that. Cool, give it a little tap. Cool. Now I'll fill that joint in, and that's how you return the corner. And that you, should, you put a wall tie every every course, every block course, and that ties it all together. And that is solid as a rock. Now we put that old plastic stuff over that. I mean, nah, I know what it is, but that, you'll never convince me that's any good. Really, you are. What's that up there? What's what? the sun? The sun. Ah, oh, we've that for a long while. Sun, boy. Here comes the sun. That's almost like big sights, darling. Hit <laughs> that, put that little muck in, down. And then we go and push. 
So we've got a nice full joint there. We've got no problems with that. Try mate. You're doing big time style? Big time, I've, yep. I'll, I'll slap two big joints on. That way, big time. I see now I see he got rid of their manager. He's gone boy. They shouldn't have put him in the first place. We'd be better off with old uh, that geezer of uh Farm and Sam. Oh Elvis. <laughs> oh, no. Mash Tarty man, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a lot better than what we had there. Turn and push up to that block and deliver it lovely. Good. Get that troll. Sweet that. Put a bit of joint on there, but not a big massive joint. In case I want to get it somewhere, pull it out, whatever. Just give it something so it's left to fill up. Kick the line out of the way. Back over there. Now we'll get the other one up. Make it six foot of the peeler. Look at that pro level, look, all that muck on there, ain't we? Yeah. Ah. Right, now we can get the size of this piece and we can complete this tool. It's four months old, isn't it? Roughly, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think we unboxed it back in August time. So what we need for there, if we go for a, a 90 mil piece in there. Yep. Cool. Get me some muck on there, full joint. Now, if you're a young apprentice, and you know you've got to do what they've got to do. I want to get this piece of block in there, but I've got a wall tie in the way as well. And uh, that's just getting used to it, so I've got to just get that like that. Buff hands, just gently drop that in there, like so. Yeah, we're there, we're good, get the draw. But when you're young, and that seemed quite daunting trying to do that, but that will come in time, it's like practice as anything else, you're just getting confident with it. So before I fill that joint, I'll just get the level. Just make sure that I'm happy with that before we fill that joint up. Let's have a look. That's sweet as that. Double check this corner, yeah. We'll go with that. Cool. Cool. I can fill that joint up now. Nice that cool so I might even try and So I don't fill it before I do it because you've got nowhere to go on something like this. It's a bit more work, but I'll give you a better job. That's more manageable. So again, just get a little more down there. That's whatever works for you, isn't it? Yep. And then we go like that. So we've got tight on there. Now, we just get some gear off of that, roll that off there, fill that in. And I've got like that, sort of back end it, and fill that joint right up. Up and in. Don't be afraid to push it in and go again. Don't know, sort of gaps in there, do you? No, no. That's what you try to curve is the caps. There we go. Lovely old gap. The bottom is sticking out. Let's tap that in. That's cool. Let's see what this one's like. That's good, that.